All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the, the apostles and elders of the true nation of Israel, which consists of these so called blessed Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, the Israelite foreigners, and the one third that consists of the elect, the 144,000 House of David. This sit down is going to be called uh, Eat the Herb, Not Smoke It. This is Genesis 3.18. It says, Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. The herb of the field today, I mean, not today, but I mean, yeah, even today, you know, it, it, you're not supposed to smoke weed. All right. You eat the herb of the field. That's what it says. All right. And this is and this was uh, to Adam, you know, after Adam had went off. So that's what it says. Eat the herb of the field. The Most High did not say smoke it, cause it's, it's uh, the two thirds think that the Most High would want us to smoke it, because it so called has uh, healing powers. You know, it's for healing. You know, we smoke it. You know, the so called white man Esau is the ones that told you niggas to smoke it. You know, the Most High didn't say that. You're polluting your body. You know, you look up what weed does to your lungs, it creates black tar in your lungs, and it makes your lungs black over time. So you're polluting, you're defiling your temple. Your body is the temple of the Lord, all right? And right here in Genesis 1 and 30, into every beast of the field, into every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, where there is life, I have given you every green herb for meat, and it was so. Why did he give the green herb? It says right here, Thou shalt eat the herb of the field. That was just a quick sit down on how we're supposed to eat the herb. Of the field and not smoke it you know he didn't tell us to smoke weed man and you brothers that do smoke it and y'all believe in this truth quit doing it because most high is going to kill you all right because you're polluting your body all right and your in your body is the temple of the most high all right so with that, um, I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to say uh, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know what? I'm going to read this. I found it. Salakia. This is First Corinthians uh, six and fifteen. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Mashiach? Shall I, shall I then take the members of Mashiach and make them the members of an harlot? The Most High forbid. You know. And, that, and that's going into, uh, you know, like, when you when you go into, like, different doctrines, you know, you're playing the harlot because, like, different doctrines mean, like, Christianity, Roman Catholicism, you know, back, back when the Lord was teaching or, you know, we're Hebrew Israelites, you know, before you uh, physically fornicated, you spiritually fornicated. You know, like back then, 
you know, men had one, two, three wives. That's not fornicating, though. You know, they had one husband that was married to that man, so that's not fornicating. You know, in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon and Apocrypha, it goes and talk about how it was a spiritual fornication. You know, so you're spiritually fornicating. You're you're being a member of a harlot. You know, you're you're giving yourself over to to different philosophies. You know, to different women because the first your first woman is his truth. You know, Israel is like unto a woman to the Lord. You know, so we're supposed to be with Mashiach. You know, we don't give ourselves. When you hear this truth, we leave all those different religions and doctrines that we were taught. Those are different women. We're playing the harlot when we go into those different doctrines and religions and all that bullshit. All right. What know ye not that which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two said he shall be one flesh, and that's going into you know dealing with sex. You know, because when you when you have sex, that's marriage. You know, flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is throughout the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. You know, uh, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. You know. You know, so these bodies that we in, these, this is the temple of the Most High. You know, our bodies are the temple before it's a damn church. Because in the book of Acts 7, uh, 40, Acts 7, the, the seventh chapter, in the 40 something verse, I forgot. But it goes on to talk about how the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Where the Israelites, where the Hebrew Israelites, the Most High Spirit is within us. Like how King David has spiritual powers. That's the Holy Spirit. His mighty men, they had spiritual powers. It's like 800, 400, 300. You know, that's that's the Holy Spirit. That's the, that, They were holy temples to the Most High. You know, so us smoking weed, we're polluting our bodies. We're giving Satan a way to get into our bodies, man. You know, so our spirits... Our, um, I mean, our bodies are, are the temples, man, that the Most High dwell in, and we're able to teach His truth, you know? And uh, when we are not our own, you know, it's going to say how we were bought with a price. We were bought uh, with a price by Yahweh Shah going on the cross, you know, being redeemed. So we were bought with a price. It says right here, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah in your body and in your spirit, which are Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah's. You know? Which are powers. You know? So, it, I mean, that's all. I'm going to close, you know, I'm going to close it with that. You know, dumb honors to the apostle. That is a great millstone of the nation of Israel. Peace and blessings to the hopeful left the nation of Israel and to the brothers out there teaching this truth. Shalom.